Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia, and today I'm reviewing an HO Scale Operating Diaphragm Kit from American Limited Models. This particular kit fits the Branch Line and Atlas cars, but they sell kits for other types of cars as well. The MSRP on this is $6.95, and they also come in a six-pack for $38.95. The kit includes parts for the diaphragms themselves, diaphragm springs, plates to attach them to the car, and replacement coupler boxes. These two pieces form the outer bellows. And one thing that's important to remember is that these little tabs need to face away from this part. There actually are little indentations on here that kind of make it look like it should go this way, but that's incorrect. It needs to go this way, and that wasn't entirely clear from the instructions. I'm assembling the parts using liquid styrene cement. Another thing that the instructions aren't too clear about are the inner bellows. It requires putting these springs on, but the instructions actually show them this way. But there's a little rectangular bulge that fits in this little rectangular indentation here, so it has to go this way. These are a press fit. And to finish it off, you have to use like a screwdriver and press them down. And it should cause the spring part to pop out like this. This is what it looks like with both of the upper springs applied. And it's important to try to put enough pressure on both of them so that these pieces stick out about the same distance. Otherwise, the diaphragm may end up tilting to one side or the other. I've turned the part over, and now we can apply these longer springs to the other side. Again, they fit in little recesses right here and here. Before I can go much further, I have to remove the original diaphragm from the branch line car. So I'm going to wedge a knife in between and try to just pry it off. This spacer piece has pegs around the edges which match the holes in the car. Depending on how cleanly the old diaphragm came off, you may have to drill out some of these holes again. This is what it looks like after I've glued the spacer onto the car with some liquid styrene cement. The kit also includes this new coupler mount, so I have to remove the old one. The new mount is a little bit shorter and causes the cars to be a little bit closer together, which helps the diaphragm stay coupled. I'm going to pry the old coupler apart with a flat-bladed screwdriver just by twisting it a little bit. Hopefully that'll get it. Yeah. One problem I found with these kits is that the new coupler box is made out of some kind of slippery plastic, and the original lid, which you're supposed to reuse, is made out of styrene. And there's really no good way to glue these together. So what happens is you can press them together, and then when the car is rolling down the track, the coupler will fall apart. So what I'm going to do is drill this out and tap it for a screw. So this is my reassembled coupler with the screw, and I also transferred the piping detail from the old one. While I was at it, I substituted a KD-158 scale coupler for the original coupler. Now that I've got the end of the car prepared, I can assemble the inner and outer bellows. These just snap together. And these little tabs on the outer bellows slip inside here and clips together. And then it should stay together on its own once it's clipped. I can now glue this bellow assembly to the spacer plate using liquid styrene cement. You don't have to worry about getting cement on the outer bellows because they fit within the inner bellows, even though that sounds counterintuitive. So this is the finished diaphragm. It's a little bit springy. This is what it looks like with two cars coupled together. These are supposed to stay connected for any turn radius greater than 24 inches. I did have some difficulty getting the cars to couple together on level track. It took me several tries. I think it's because the coupler mounts are shorter than they used to be, and the diaphragms press the cars apart. I've set up some 24-inch radius track along with a short piece of straight track, and I've coupled the two cars together so we can test how they go around the curve. You can see one of the cars is starting to lift right here. These wheels are actually off the rails at this point. Now the car's gone back down and the wheels on the other side have come up. So this, there's no way this is going to work on a 24-inch radius curve. Overall, I think this is a decent product, and I like the idea of having the diaphragms touching when the cars are coupled together. However, I do have some problems with this kit. 
One is the instructions. I think they could be a little clearer. So I'm going to take a spike off for that. I'm going to take a spike off for having to modify the coupler box so that it doesn't fall apart. I really think that could have been designed a little better. Also, I'm going to take a spike off for having the cars be so close together that it's difficult to couple them. I think that's a design problem that really should have been addressed. Last, I'm going to take another spike for the fact that the cars don't work on the advertised 24-inch radius. So my final verdict is 6 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.